as the honorable president of india in the presentation of colors today morning thank you and jai hind yes from indian express good afternoon sir uh, can you just explain why uh, mic 21 bison used sir for the dark fight for a highly why mic 21 bison is in an inventory now why don't you use it no i just uh, i need i, I need explanation because uh, some news is going in the social media sir that uh, f16 is ultra modern all latest built in latest, latest technology whereas mic 21 bison is a old aircraft i will not comment on the ongoing operations because they are still ongoing but mic 21 bison is uh, capable it has been upgraded it is not the old mic 21 bis it's got a better weapon system it's got better radars better air to air missiles a radar warning receiver shaft flares whatever it takes to make it uh, you know from third generation to 3.5 generation or so so it is an upgraded aircraft and uh, we fight with all the aircraft in our inventory yeah and remember the india. initiative is with the adversary times of india abhis vingam under habis uh, wing commander abhinandan self how he was treated by pakistani army and uh, are we going to allow him to fly again how he whether he flies again or no depends on his medical fitness that's why post uh, ejection he has undergone a medical check and thereafter if required whatever treatment is required will be given to him once he gets his medical fitness and then uh, then only will he get into a fighter cockpit News 18, Dhanasri. Sir, uh, in the recent uh, speech, <coughs> sir, in the recent speech, uh, P. Modi has said that uh, the results of the recent airstrike would have been different if Rafael jets were there. So, what's your take on that? honorable prime minister has made a statement i will not comment on that sir no sir yeah pass on to the mic please my question is like pardon change is mic sir my question is uh, with regard to the surgical strikes on uh, There's still no. I think that is a blind zone. You can't hear. Mm. Now, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear. So it. there's there's still no clarity on uh, what exactly. Happened. Pakistan is still in a denial mode. They say there were no attacks on terror camps there. Uh, independent media reports from Pakistan also say there were no uh, attacks on terror camps and there were no casualties. So my question is, what was our Keep what up. was our target and did we hit our target, sir? <laughs> the target has been uh, clearly amplified by the foreign secretary in his statement yeah and of course if he plan to hit the target we hit the target otherwise why would he have responded yeah nai please if he had dropped bombs in the jungle there no need for him to respond that statement will be made by the government no, i mean we are not, i am not air force is not in a position to clarify that how many people were inside that we, we don't count human casualties we count uh, what targets have we hit or not hit time seven the please the bomb damage assessment that is done post a mission calculates the number of the target you have been hit or you not been able to hit we can't count uh, how many people have died that depends on how many people were there I don't know from where have we got this report. We can take Our report says otherwise. Hmm. Sir, uh, sir, Tejas, you know, he has, uh, you know, got uh, the fitness to fly certificate recently. Why it has take, you know, so much of uh, time? No fitness. Uh, the Tejas has got the IOC in, I think, 2013. Correct. No, no, I, IOC, IOC, 2013. 2013. 
IOC has been given on 2013 and the specs to release to manufacture that was given for FOC was given on 31st of December in which we said that okay now this is the design that is you can HL can go ahead and manufacture this is the design for the FOC aircraft. Sir, I am going to Women, uh, for, you know, exclusively for uh, LCA? There is no aircraft that is exclusive for women. No, sir, no, sir. Are you going to you know, give uh, training for... Uh, it depends on which stream she goes to. Right okay. now, I think two of them are in MiG-21s. Okay, sir. From Hindu, please. Uh, uh, sir, mid-air mid uh, accidents have been disturbing uh, IA for a long period. Several uh, pilots have lost life. Is there a need to uh, decommission older aircraft? And one more question. And when is the uh, 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 intention of uh, Rafale expected? Rafale should come into our inventory in the month of September. Yes, we have a plan for inducting new aircraft. That is what the. That is why we have signed a contract for 36 Rafales. Uh, 40 LCS we have signed a contract. We, are, we have to get about one and a half squads worth still of Sukhoi 30 from HA. And uh, in addition, uh, we are going to uh, sign the contract uh, for, we have issued the RFP and now we have to do the cost negotiating committee and then sign the contract for 83 LCAs. And thereafter, after LCA Mark, uh, LCA Mark 1A has been delivered, then we will go to Mark 2. Then about six columns are required of Mark 2, which will ultimately replace the Jaguar, the MiG-29 and the Mirage 2000 aircraft. And thereafter, the next step after that, we go to AMCA. So, there is a plan as to how we take out the old aircraft and uh, get in a new aircraft. That plan has always been in place. Sir, what is the present uh, women ratio in the Indian 10%. 13%. No, no, actually, uh, he's talking about expansion of air squadrons in the southern area. He's talking about no, no. Uh, uh, we, uh, we have got uh, this station is, is established to hold uh, two LCS cones. So, we've got one LCS cone, then one more will come. Then as they get getting produced, we then we'll keep about one to two out here and rest will push out to the forward areas. As it is, this is a place that we use for training. It's got a wonderful training environment. It is close to HAL uh, Bangalore Division for technical support. But the squadrons will fight in the western or the northern borders, wherever they are deployed. Sir, China's threat no, 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 and no, no, no. across uh, the Indian Ocean. And sir, no, no, hello. Uh, we will we'll take from uh, Dumdas. Sir, I express concern over the release of the fighter plane in the recent attack by Pakistan. How do you look at this? No, that is a. Uh, I don't know what is the end user agreement between America and Pakistan. If the end user agreement was that they will not use it for offensive purposes, then I think they have violated that end user agreement. Because Sir. we have got pieces of the Amra missile uh, in our territory, which we displayed. And obviously, I think they have lost an uh, F-16 aircraft in that combat. So, obviously, they have been using the aircraft against us. The last question from Rajasthan Patrika. Sir, Jeevan from Rajasthan Patrika. Last question. Sir, February is the saddest month for IAF, lost six aircraft and nine pilots. Is there any requirement for a position of… Six aircraft. Uh, yeah, six aircraft and nine pilots in February month, uh, lost. Uh, so, is required any upgradation of training and anything else? No, we lost one uh, Mirage 2000, which was on the inventory of HL. It was not our aircraft at that particular time. Then we lost one helicopter, which was in the ongoing operation that is going on, for which a court inquiry has sat. And then there was this uh, loss of a, in the, the, a mid-air that took place during uh, this thing. So basically it is two accidents that we have had, which, uh, which uh, concerns us, which is the helicopter for which the court inquiry was, and the mid-air, which happened in the practice for display for Aero India. So we have to get our act right and find out what caused the mid-air and get the procedures correct before we start uh, doing aerobatic flying with the Surikarans. And same goes for the helicopter which was uh, lost during this uh, thing. 
We have not lost nine aircraft by any chance. Nine, I think we would have lost in the whole year. I can't commit, comment on the politics of it. Okay. We, are, we are happy that he is back with us. Sir, wait, 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 wait a minute. No, medical examination and debriefing after that uh, uh, depends on his fitness. If he is fit to fly a fighter, then he will go back to a squad. If he is not fit to fly a fighter, then he will become a low medical category till the time he gets his currency. And then he will go back when he gets his fighter currency back. No, that depends when he does his medical recovery. Okay, if he is immediately fit, he will go back to the same unit. We don't change units just because of that. It depends on, uh, basically, uh, it is, it is the, to the doctors. Because you must remember that uh, ejection is something which is very… I have also ejected. <laughs> it is something that takes a lot of toll on your body. And uh, if you are not perfectly fit and God forbid you have to eject again, you will be spending the rest of your life on a wheelchair. So, we don't take a chance with the fitness of a fighter pilot. That's why the, the, the medical uh, rejection in entry when we select people is very, very high because, uh, you know, your physical condition, your, you know, your curvature of your spine and all those things have to be very, very good to take that kind of a rejection injury. And Sir, permanent commission for women officers, uh, what is the present? Permanent commission, the government has agreed, has this thing, it is subject to, uh, subject to vacancies and merit. In uh, Air Force, it is there in all branches. We have no restriction. When oh. the lay, she finishes her 14, 14 years of service, after that, uh, before that, the selection will be made. Yeah, 13 years onwards, since he's ex AOP, so he knows better than me. <laughs> so, thank you. But 13 years onwards, the, the, the selection is made depending on the number of vacancies and merit. If they are interested, they will be permitted to… Uh, no, no. Yeah, they will… If they opt for it, they will be permitted to come to the permanent commission. That is depending two things. First of all, the merit the, and uh, vacancies. And most importantly, they have to opt for it because they have joined the Air Force for Short Service Commission. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. We are running your time. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Excuse me. No, no. Excuse me. No, no, we are running out of time, you know. How was the present situation in the border? It is an ongoing operation, I will not comment on it. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Uh, thanks for the cooperation.